Welcome back to my channel, Glitter Babes. Today I'm making an ottoman out of crates. And these are the crates that I'll be using. Y'all, please do me a favor and hit the like button. And I am placing the crates in opposite directions to create a square. And the measurements are 33 by 33. And I will now be screwing these screws in to make sure that the crates stay together. I screwed in a total of four on each side. I will now be stapling this piece of cardboard to the top of it and I pre-measured it earlier. And it's up to you. You can put a piece of foam and batting on top if you'd like. It depends on your reasoning for making this. Now, if this is an ottoman slash table, then you might not need foam. But if this is something you're going to sit on or have people sit on, then you can use foam. But now I am just stapling the fabric on top of the ottoman. And I'm going to be cutting off the extra fabric. Next, I'll be taking these project boards that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'll be cutting them into strips. And the reason why I chose these boards is because they have ridges in them already, so it's easy for them to bend. And the strips that I'll be cutting will be five and a half inches. So all I'm doing is tracing them and then cutting them with the box cutter. And y'all know I like to tell y'all where I get like my stuff from. Like I get my tires from like the tire shops and stuff like that. So I was like, where am I going to find some crates? Because I've been wanting to do this for a minute, but I just didn't know where I would find them. And I will always see crates randomly like on the street. But I mean, you know, like anyways. So I was passing by this liquor store and I seen a bunch of crates on the side of the building. Like, so I went inside and I was like, can I get some of your crates? Can I get four of your crates? And he was like, uh, you can get two of them. And I'm like, what am I going to do with two crates? And then like, if I find two more, are they going to be the same size? I was like, can I please get two more? Can I pay you for two more? And he was like, no, you can't pay me. I really need these crates. And I was like, dang. He was like, what do you need them for anyways? So I was like, I'm trying to make an ottoman. And he was like, oh, well, that's creative. And then he was like, well, you can have them. So shout out to the liquor store man for making this project possible. Okay, back to the DIY. So I'm just taping the boards that I cut together with my duct tape. And I'll be needing a total of 10 panels for the top of the ottoman. And each panel should be 55 inches long. So I'm taping these together, but I'm gonna have to cut the rest of the strips in half like this and attach them to each end. And y'all, I used a total of five poster boards or project boards, which is like $5, probably like seven at the Dollar Tree. And the crates were free and I already had the fabric. This project was so inexpensive. Like, please make this. Please make this. Go to your nearest liquor store man and ask him for some crates, okay? Next, I'll be taking this crushed gray fabric and I'll be attaching it to my panels. And I will be using Gorilla Glue Spray for this project. It made it go by so much faster. And now I'm folding the fabric on top of the glue. And 
and I'm cutting off the extra fabric on the other side. And I'm not putting too much energy on the ends because those parts will not show and I will be stapling them later on. And this is the last strip that I'm making for the top of the ottoman. The next set of strips will be for the sides of the ottoman. And if you remember earlier when I was cutting those boards, there were extra little pieces left. Those are the pieces that I'll be using to make the strips for the sides. So I made a total of eight panels and each panel is 22 inches long. And I covered them like I did the other ones. And now for the fun part. I'm gonna be adding five panels going one direction, and then I'm gonna add five more panels going the opposite direction. So I'm gonna go under one and over the other. And I'm also gonna make sure that each panel is even on the sides. So if I went under for one panel, I'm gonna go over with the next and then do the same pattern and like I mentioned, I am going to make sure that the panels are pulled out evenly on the sides. And this is a side view. I did staple this panel and this panel down. And that way it will make it easier for me to stick my panel in. And I wish I showed the angles better for this one, but all I did was fold that panel to this side and staple it. And now that that panel is stapled down, I'm gonna take my second panel and weave that through. So for these first panels, I am stapling, stapling each side to the other side. I am now folding the panel and stapling it. And I'm gonna be doing the same for the rest of the panels. And when I tell y'all this is way easier than I thought it would be, this was super easy. Next, I'm doing the other side and I'm just showing you guys a different angle on how I did staple it. And just remember, you're always gonna do the same thing to every other panel. So I'm doing my third side and I'm just weaving the panel through. And if you're wondering what I'm doing to the sides, I'm literally just tucking, I'm either tucking in the side to the other side or I'm stapling it in. So this side, I decided to just staple it down and then fold it back over. 
and I'm only doing it this way for this side because it I wasn't able to tuck it in to the other side but you are able to tuck some sides in for example my lower right on the lower right on the corner you can see that I'm able to tuck in fabric into that pocket and this side you can see me tucking it in and if you're wondering if it will stay it will stay it's very tight if yours is not staying you can always add glue and for the moment we've all been waiting for here's the results this came out so beautiful I was going through a um, hotel lobby one day and I saw an ottoman like this and I was like I'm making that I'm, I'm making that do you see how clean it came out I am just so in love with this I'm so in love with it and here are some clips with the decor on top and as you can see I have my candles that I made if you haven't seen that DIY, you can go and check that out. And if you're interested in any of the other pieces around, you can go and check out the videos for those also. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later, Glitter Babes.